Women at NASA are making history every day by contributing to groundbreaking missions and projects in the areas of space, science, and aeronautics. They're also dedicated to inspiring the next generation of explorers to break new boundaries. We're celebrating Women's History Month by recognizing their stories and contributions to exploration and beyond. Hello, my name is Alana Roche, and I'm honored to introduce you to Lori Grindle. Hi, Lori. Hi, Alana. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. I wanted to see if you could tell us briefly about your work for NASA and when you first knew you wanted to join the agency. Mm. Okay, well, um, I've had quite a few different positions while I've been working for NASA. So I started full time in 1993. <laughs> so I've been here for a little bit. And uh, over that time, I transitioned from being an engineer uh, to even a chief engineer, to a, a project manager, and then am now the uh, director for programs uh, and projects. So a lot of diversity of, uh, of, of uh, experiences, but also a lot of diversity in responsibilities. Um, but uh, I've enjoyed it very much. I guess my position right now is more of a, a managerial one in terms of managing the, the directorate and all the project managers that work for me. Uh, and for the center. But uh, when did I want to join NASA and when did I know that? I pretty much always wanted to work for NASA. My father got his pilot's license the year that I was born. And so I was always kind of flying around or around airplanes uh, from the very beginning. So I really liked airplanes. And uh, then I was also really excited about the space program and thought that was really exciting. So how could I not work for a place that embodies both of those interests in the National Aeronautics and Space Administration? So I was pretty pretty sure that NASA was where I was headed from a very young age. Have you ever had to overcome any challenges to get where you are today? So this is a topic that I um, talk about a lot with my parents. So my parents were born in the 30s and uh, in the South, and so for them, lots and lots of challenges and then went on to become professionals. So I have experienced no challenges like theirs uh, by any means. But the, um, you know, the usual challenges that people face when you want to do do things and be successful at them. Uh, so that need to demonstrate that you're capable of doing a job. Uh, and you know, get your foot in the door by making that um, that case to people by showing what you can do, and then needing to continue to reinforce that so you can keep the job. Those are the kinds of challenges that I've I've had, um, but um, but nothing that uh, rises to what people traditionally mean when they say, you know, have you experienced any challenges? Makes sense. <laughs> uh, share with us any female role models who have inspired you. Sure. Uh, so those usual kind of pioneers, right, in aviation, so like Amelia Earhart, um, Bessie Coleman, also uh, Sally Ride, because uh, I, like I said, I also like the space program. So Sally Ride actually went to the same high school that I went to. Uh, so that um, really made a difference, a few years before me, but that made a difference for me too, because now it's someone who has actually kind of walked in my shoes a little bit. And so having the ability to see that that person then be able to go on to do great things, maybe it's possible that I could do you know similar things. Uh, when I got uh, to what was then Dryden, um, Dryden Flight Research Center, uh, Mara Von Meyer uh, became uh, one of those kind of inspirational sort of role models for me because she was a pilot and an engineer and a project manager. Uh, so again, another person that's sort of nearby that I can look at and say, hey, I could do I could do things like that, too. So um, but the biggest role model for me has always been my mom. So she is a uh, United States District Court judge um, and uh, was appointed by President Carter. And so uh, there's a person, you know, just right next door who is breaking barriers every single day. And so for me, that really told me what was potentially possible for me different field, obviously, but just the fact that if she could do those things and maybe there was a chance for me to be able to do something uh, exciting as well. A lot of the women you mentioned wear a lot of different hats in their job. I know you do too. What's your favorite part of your job? For me, it's 
Uh, all the projects I've worked on, it's been the project team that's been the most exciting part of it because of the way we come together and work together to solve a common problem. So I really enjoy that aspect. Um, I kind of think of it as like the power of teamwork. So for example, on the X43A project, when I started that project, I was uh, just an aerodynamics researcher. We had our first flight there and uh, it did not go well. It did no nothing, nothing happened that as we would have expected it to. Uh, and uh, it resulted in loss of the vehicle and a mishap investigation. But the whole team, although that was very discouraging, the whole team was really passionate about wanting to know what happened, what caused this, um, how can we recover from it? And so the whole team kind of uh, rallied together to figure out the answers and work closely with the Mishap Investigation Board to find those answers. And then um, once we had that, then we actually went through to work towards actually recovering from it and returning to flight. And so, you know, we even, our process was so diligent and thorough that we even found problems that we had not experienced in that first flight, but would have bit us if we had not repaired them. So we even were able to find things that were later on in the mission. So the, the way the team all came together, worked so hard, get the answers, and then solve the problems and actually fix them and return us to flight. We're rewarded with that by having a very, very successful second flight that did everything we wanted it to do. And what does Women's History Month mean to you? I think of it as an opportunity to really uh, celebrate the accomplishments of women and uh, also to make sure people know who they are. Uh, so what, you know, these are great women who have done things that have really advanced uh, uh, the path forward for all women behind them. And so Women's History Month is really an opportunity to celebrate those achievements and then also show future generations what's possible. And what is your perspective on how the role of women in STEM has changed throughout your career? In the past, what we've seen is, um, you know, a lack of that encouragement. And so there weren't as many people for sure, there weren't as many women from, from the perspective of women feeling like or being told that there were traditional roles for them. And so uh, what I have seen, of course, through my career is more and more women all the time. Uh, every year there's more than there were before. And I think that's really great. So I kind of see STEM fields as being potentially more inclusive uh, than some of the other fields out there for that reason. And so when I look at uh, and hear stories like um, uh, about our female computers, uh, right? Or like in like the movie Hidden Figures or the book Hidden Figures. Um, I think, well, maybe that's some of how those barriers could really be broken down because they had the skills, they demonstrated those skills and those skills were in demand. So yep, you could produce these numbers and so we want you. And at a time when things weren't necessarily as inclusive across the board, not only for uh, you know, African Americans, but also, you know, just women in general as well. So um, I was at work on Friday and I walked, I was walking up down the first floor hallway of 4800 and looking at all of our, you know, historical pictures that we have there. And I was really thinking about that, about, um, you know, the female computers that we had even here and, um, and how, how they paved the way for others to follow. So. Thank you. And thank you so much for your time today, Lori. I know this is going to inspire other women. Uh, March is Women's History Month, and we're going to be celebrating all month long. If you could just give us a follow on all of our NASA Armstrong social media accounts, it is at, at NASA Armstrong, and you can follow along with us all month long. Thank you, and thank you for your time, Lori. Yes, thank you. You're welcome.